You should react to these kind of videos and upload it. That's the playing game. That's the Hello play. and welcome to Simon React. Today you're in the presence of two of Sidemen's greatest ever rappers right here. Hey chat, before we get into that 50 minute uh, foot of sound video, let me know if there's like anything crazy uh, that's shorter that you guys want to check out before we watch that, just in case you don't want to stick around. Um, myself uh, and well, Vic starts not here, so wait, what? Well, you think you was one of them, right? Bro, you're in the Simon, you got me, <laughs> you got Toby, no, no, you got Simon, and you think bro. you're in the greatest rappers. Bro, don't disrespect me like that. <laughs> you just sing songs these days, you're a singer now, it's different. I destroyed his hey. career with Little Boy. <laughs> you did do that to me. <laughs> I think you destroyed his career, you just destroyed his ego. <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm, just, I'm just an artist. I just do whatever the fuck I want, innit? You're just a singer now, that's all you are. No, I sing about holidays rap. and sunshines and rainbows and stuff. <laughs> I do whatever the fuck I want. You can't yeah, put me okay, in a box. Yeah, okay, you let him know. You can't yeah. put me in a box? I'm in my own lane! Okay, you let him know. <laughs> Shit, boy! Anyway, watch it. today watching boy! the fucking rapper moments. I'm a Wait, what? Wait, 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 wait. Did this glitch for you? <laughs> Mine is glitched. Mine is, I just said, all I heard was, I'm a sexual. Was he about to say he's a sexual predator? I swear to God, that nigga says Triceratops or something like that. That's crazy. Oh. <laughs> wait, let me hear it again. Yo, I'm a fucking homosexual. What? Oh. Okay. Go vaccination spot. What? This is a goat vaccination spot. <laughs> They're trying to get political. Yeah. <laughs> what? what is going on? Why even? That says vacation, dumbass. Vacation <laughs> <laughs> How did he get vaccinated? Oh, oh, this is this so just for some hot butt sex. Mm. Whoa. <laughs> His reaction. What? what made you go with that verse? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, anyway. It's a what knife. What does cross on your forehead signify? It's a knife. Okay, now what about <laughs> oh, your lyrics? Uh, that's, that was what about them? So what are you funny. saying in your lyrics? Nothing. Shit to piss old white people off like you. Is that right? My lyrics aren't offensive. <laughs> aren't they? <laughs> no. Some people find them offensive, don't they? You've yeah, heard that some people find everything offensive. Okay. Me and <laughs> okay. Watch Smack DVD. It's still Tyler. I don't yeah. know. I be licking this nigga braids like. Uh. <laughs> Yo, nothing, nothing beats Rocky and Tyler's videos, bro. Every time there's like a clip, it's always the funniest stuff ever, bro. <laughs> I, I don't I guess, guess that's that. why. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know you don't do that. I do that. Have I ever made out with someone that. twice my own age? Oh. Twice my age, he's 60. Damn. <laughs> yeah, it's those kind of vibes, you know? Nice. <laughs> That's, what That's what I'm throwing. That's what I'm throwing. Have you missed? Bro, Tyler Thank just hit. That was from my boyfriend, ASAP. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. Bro, it's the fact that this is not just titled Tyler the Creator's Most Ridiculous Moments. <laughs> okay. Bas basically, Tyler it's the is... KSI clips. Tyler like, is I want to see KSI and Blackpool, <laughs> man. Show me KSI and Blackpool. What is up with the Fallon, and why would you say you're fouling so much out here? You are so fine, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Other than that, I like to, I like to, you know, it's physical. That's the type of game we like with physical players. I just wish you were playing, dog, so I could guard you. <laughs> we have right for you, Nardwar. Nothing Zoro. beats Nardwar interviews, man. Very right. impressive. <laughs> hey, look at me, you look so pretty. Look at me. What? Love it. Ooh. Ooh, oh, what's that like sexy that. thing right there? With like goldfish in my teeth? It's like the oh. <laughs> What? Hey, are you that guys was rude. Gonna sell <laughs> she didn't even get it. Go to the mall and uh, buy some potato salad. <laughs> Congratulations, guys. We're nice. <laughs> you look good to it. Nah, I'm look. You look good, though. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You look good, though. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm your owner. My fault. I'm your owner. Sorry, y'all had to hear that. <laughs> hey, yo. That's a baby? It's a baby. 
just a video of him walking. Hey, he was looking cool until then. I'll whoop your ass. Your girlfriend look like my mom. <laughs> Yo, what up? It's Jeff, aka Pet Adoption, aka I took your bitch. This, I'm, He's. I'm Childish Gambino. <laughs> Pet Adoption? What do you say? What is that? <laughs> <laughs> what? What? <laughs> I swear, I like, I looked up at the ceiling and I was like, yo, is that a spider now? I was so scared. Okay, that's like my worst nightmare. Just the shit just coming down onto my head like that. Oh, oh, it's so scary. If you guys don't know, I have like a, hold on, what's this the camera? This is the camera. Whoopsie. So I got like one of those like cloud ceilings up there and I looked up and I saw like, it's all white. But there was like a little black dot, like where the white was. And I was like, oh my God, I'm about to die, nigga. Oh my God, I'm about to die. <laughs> I was like, it's over. It's over. Need them and do it yourself. I got the way answer, take Sway. a few steps back to go. You ain't got the answers, water. man. Sorry. He away almost 10 years ago. He said, man, why don't you do it on your own? Was he right? You know what? I will go ahead and say. Sway had the answer. Mm -hmm. I know. <laughs> Tyler, I want to point out that when you came out here, you just touched me on the butt. You no, I didn't. Butt. Yes, you did. You <laughs> no, no, I didn't. You have it on camera. Steve These Colbert are all cameras. What do you mean you have no proof? You're a liar. If we work together, I'd have to report you to HR right now. I don't now. even know what that if is. If that was unwelcome contact. Wow. It Someone's was. lying. If he's lying, make some noise. <laughs> 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 Staring at the camera, they can come here. Mm. <laughs> of our pool. You know, we don't have a jacuzzi. Can you believe that? Can you believe we don't have a jacuzzi? <laughs> we just make sure that it's hot all the time. <laughs> my it's literally just old time. Decided I was going to walk in here and just pee on the floor and right. leave. What? I'm peeing right now. Oh, oh God. Yeah. All right. Clean up. I want. Right. What? Is that guy again? He's, he's like, we have to open the door. And, oh, okay. Nice. I'll open this time. <laughs> he didn't close the door. <laughs> Eminem or Marshall or Slim, what do you like to be called? Eminem Slim Marshall. Eminem Slim Marshall. Look at my mind. <laughs> you can call me. What? <laughs> oh my god. Tyler, you are Tyler the Masturbator. Masturbator. <laughs> join the Saturday night crew with our music intro starting next Saturday night. It's, it's a bit of all right. <laughs> He's like, what's happening? Oh my god, this will hit me a birthday gift on my birthday to my birthday party on my birthday with a birthday gift. Happy birthday? Wait, what? <laughs> I feel like this like a running joke. I don't care what nobody says, bro. Lord of Squad, top tier, bro. As no other creator, nobody ever has been able to compete with the heat that came from Lord of Squad, bro. Lord of Squad was amazing. With with you being left off bad and bougie. I, I ain't left off bad and bougie. You think I'm left off bad and bougie? Say again? Hey, yo, actually, real quick, man. Rest in peace, take off. Literally, we heard he died Oh, today. man. Not to put a downer in the mood, but I just wanted to say. Yeah. I hear real. It definitely put a downer because I was trying so hard not to mention it. I was going to let the clip play. I wasn't even going to comment on, like, how crazy it was. That's just. It just sucks. But there's a lot of people who say, like, that they don't, like, I'm the type of person, bro. Like, this is how I look at shit. You know what I'm saying? This is how I've always looked at shit, especially with death. Like, okay, let me put it this way, right? I used to look at things like I, I would if I would have heard about this, I would have been like, oh, damn, like that nigga just put himself in a, a situation he wasn't supposed to be in. Like, nigga, you way too rich and famous to be playing dice on the side of a street. somewhere. You know what I'm saying? Like you a fucking millionaire. What the fuck are you rolling dice for in a hood? You know what I'm saying? Like that shit don't even make sense. But at the same time, like when you think of it from a perspective of thinking like, damn, like that nigga was literally 28 years old. So like he was on top of the world at like 22, 23 and is now 28 still flourishing. Like, just imagine all the shit that he wasn't able to accomplish. 
like if you look at it like that, I don't know, man. It's just it's a sad thing, but it just sucks. Like it is what it is at the end of the day, but it's still sad. It's still sad. I don't know. I, I'm I'm going through a battle right now because I was listening to like a bunch of different like religious people like speak about the situation. And people always tell me that I'm like heartless and that like I don't care about things. But I've never like I've never thought of myself like that. And I like I still to this day like hold myself like almost like to a weird degree because people always say that I have like no heart and that I don't care about things. And I'm like, no, I care. But there's like certain things that I feel like you should give your like heart to or your attention to. You know what I'm saying? Like originally I would have just been like, hey, fuck that nigga. Like it is what it is. Like he died. You know what I'm saying? But he put himself in a situation to die. Like the nigga should have had all types of security. He should have been in a a well lit environment. You know what I'm saying? Nobody should have been able to have a gun around him in the situation. Like, that's where my head would have went originally. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not going to feel sorry or, like, lose time in my day over a person that should have known better. But, like, I'm the kind of person where I messed up so much as a kid. So imagine if somebody, like, came up to me when I was younger and was like, oh, you're just stupid because that's how you think because of how you think right now because you don't know any better. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, I, I, because I was so stupid, but there was somebody who was like, hey, I know that you're not a piece of shit. I know that you can be better or do better. You know what I'm saying? So like, it, it's almost like I look at it like that. I'm just ranting. I'll stop. Sorry. But yeah, it's just crazy, bro. He ended up getting caught in the crossfire. Yeah, but see, that's what it is. Like, it's like what a lot of people never realize is like, it's the same thing of like, oh, your friend didn't steal, but you still put like your friend put you in the situation to now get accused of stealing just like them. So, like, if you steal with somebody, you're a thief, just like they're a thief. You know what I'm saying? That's how I've always looked at it. So, like, in the situation like that, like, Takeoff should have known, like, all right, bet. Like, this is not the situation. Like, the fact that Takeoff's even in a, in somewhere or in an environment where he could get in an argument with someone that doesn't love him enough to not even allow it to escalate to that point. You know what I'm saying? Like, anybody that is allowed to have your presence and be in the same room as you should be equally minded to the point of like, there's no way there should be like that. You should think about killing me. You know what I'm saying? Like that, that there's no way you should think about like murdering me. Like that's what I thought. Who's your favorite rapper? Uh, right now. I'd probably say Drake on top. Like if we go for like trap, trap type rap and shit like that, you know what I'm saying? Oh, uh... I don't even know for real, bro. I don't even know if I have, like, a favorite. I like a bunch of different people. Because usually what happens, like, the only people that it's not happening to me yet is the side. But usually, like, whenever I'm, like, heavily invested into something, or, like, I really like, like, a famous person or, like, somebody that's, like, a star or something like that, I always end up learning too much about them to where I find out something about them that they did that's, like, hella weird or, like, like, I was just like, ew, how could you even have that thought or opinion? You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm like, what the fuck? And I just get immediately turned off and I start hating them. You know what I'm saying? Like, that, that's how my mind works. So, like, I've never really had, like, favorites or, like, the best. You know what I mean? Like, that's never been it. But, like, a couple people that I'm just, like, consistently, like, really jamming to and really giving my time to, you know what I'm saying? As far as rappers go, you know what I mean? Uh, I'd probably have to say, like, niggas like Uzi. You know what I'm saying? Niggas like, uh, niggas like Uzi, bro. Niggas like, who the fuck else could I say? I don't even fucking know, bro. I don't really be listening to too much rap. I'm really a pop nigga. Uh, also, what did you think about Drake by 21 album? I still haven't listened to it, bro. I want to react to it so bad. I want to react to it so bad. Screwface John, Yo, Screwface is dope, bro. That, that's the nigga right there, man. That's the real nigga right there, man. Shout out to that nigga, Screwface, man. He goes crazy, bro. He goes so crazy. They all listen to his music, so. Craziness. Yeah, man. Every time. Shit, crazy. I like J. Cole, bro. I think he's cool, but I've never, like, besides that, what, what was it, Friday Night Lights or whatever, and, like, maybe, like, two other songs, I've never, like, I've never just cut on to J. Cole. You know what I'm saying? When, like, when he's in his moment and, like, he first drops, I'll listen to it, and then, like, I'll never listen to it again. Like, I might, like, put a clip on or do something like that, but nah, you know what I mean? Crazy. Think I'm left off Bad and Bougie. Say again? You say I'm left off Bad and Bougie. What'd you say? You say I'm left off Bad and Bougie? Yeah. Do it look like I'm left off Bad and Bougie? What'd you say? 
<laughs> so many What'd you say? Do it look like I'm left off bad and bougie? Nah. I mean, don't... I just liked eating waffles all day. Have you ever had bacon and uh, I'm not finished. <laughs> I always liked making waffles. So I was like, hey. It's a different way to make these and stuff. So it's cold. Let's get started. Well, First off, you. Oh my God. Can you let me do what I need to do? First. <laughs> <laughs> what the? Bro, if you guys have not watched that video, it is probably the funniest fucking video ever, bro. She she has like an attitude kind of like Amelia. Uh, what do you call it? The Amelia girl who's like always awkward with stuff, you know? Jesus that was, Christ! That was the KSI moments, man. Oh, what well, you want to put in there? Hey, yo, black people. Black people, black people, what's up? <laughs> I love that he just second guesses it. Black people. Wait. <laughs> oh, bro, not one black person inside as well. God damn it! <laughs> hey, yo, black people, you ready? Wait. <laughs> Wait a second. 